is one of those remarkable Peugeots. We've talked to Stefan Sarazen along with Fred Montaigne and, and uh, Sebastian Bourdais. Paula, a new year, a new team, and a full-time job as a science minister. It's a pretty hectic year ahead. Yeah, but an exciting and interesting one. I can't wait to get started, really, with the race tomorrow at Sebring. And Drayson Racing, you've brought it under your own wing. Yeah, we've got Dale White, who's the team manager, and he was the sort of strategy consultant with us last year. And because I'm having to fit everything in with being a science minister, having my own team enables it to just focus 100% on my program without any distractions. We've done one test at Paul Ricard and just the first run in here in the early part of the Sebring week and so far so good, looks really promising. The, uh, the car seems to like the support that it's getting from the Michelin tyres and the car itself is working better. So we saw last night a real improvement just did, as we went through the day with some of the changes that we made. I mean, Johnny was third in uh, night practice for quite a considerable period of time, which is, you know, we've never done that before. Johnny's going to be starting, I'm going to be going second, Rob's going to be going third, and then we're going to continue that rotation through the race. I've got to keep it together, be fast, consistent, bring the car home such that the professionals can you know, do their thing.
Okay, I'm gonna hold down the back straight. I'm gonna turn everything off. Yeah, copy. We were running seventh and third in the green challenge when the engine blew. Up until that point, it was brilliant. Uh, we really do need to finish races to win them though, don't we? The teams work well and the car's a lot better. The handling of the car's a lot better on the Michelins and the, the feel of the car overall with the development that through the winter is definitely a step forward. It's a, uh, just this engine problem. This is a new problem and we've got to find out what's caused it. And the clock's ticking in the run up to 24 hours at Le Mans. So we've got to find the answer.